<laughs> Welcome everyone to the Anime Briefing, your dosage of weekly anime news for the week ending March 19th, 2023. Starting with some weird anime news, also some announcements at the same time because these are some interesting concepts. Um, starting off with um, 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You yeah. is getting an wow. anime. Okay. <laughs> so... The premise is, um, I mean, it's been a while since we got a harem anime. Nagima springs to mind. Um, especially a harem twist anime. Um, in this one, the protagonist, after being rejected by 100 girls, discovers there's been a cosmic error. Um, to make up for it, 100 girls will now confess to him. But there's a twist. He must honestly return their feelings or they will die a horrible death. Okay, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh God! Because I mean, girlfriend, girlfriend, you had that hair where right. he confesses right, yeah. to every girl around him, and he ends mm -hmm. up with like this little clique of like four girls, yeah. and it's like ah, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. I did not see that he yeah. doesn't like respond to them effectively. They die. Wow, <laughs> that's that's darker than I thought that was going to go. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> so they they said it is a. They have, it is meant to be kind of a twist on the formula, you know, playing around with harem as, as an idea. I don't know. I, I, I will say I like the idea because it adds stakes to the relationship. He cannot be just the milk toast, you know, protagonist anymore. <laughs> Fair. In some way of forcing that. You have to own up to what's going on. Well, yeah, true, because there are consequences. consequences. <laughs> God. Yikes. Wow. I, for some reason, I keep getting like, Death Note, the rom com. Right. You know, yeah. like, uh... I was thinking Madoka. I was like, there's oh, gonna be like the oh. favorite girl of the hundred, and it's be like, oh, he's totally gonna like have feelings for her, and then he's gonna like slip up, and then she's gonna like get crushed by something. You're like, oh, oh no. Uh, I hope yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. God. Are these girls number twenty eight and twenty nine? Because the first twenty five all died horribly. <laughs> they were all on the same bus. Oh god. <laughs> well, that's not all the new weird anime we're getting. <laughs> um, Thank goodness. The next one is called "Bear with Me on This." If my wife became an elementary school student. Now, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's actually kind of sweet. Um, the manga follows a man who lost his wife 10 years ago and remains so brokenhearted that he's become estranged from his now grown daughter. So he's still just very quiet and cut off from everything. Um, turns out his wife reincarnated into a local elementary school girl. She now realizes it's him, finds, finds out, and then shows up to try to kind of repair the broken family, right? Kind of get okay. him and, and then the... And the their daughter back together and kind of do all that. Um, and while all the hijinks of I'm a 40 year old woman in a 10 year old's body. And, you know, I think like a 40 year old, all that kind of stuff. Um, but it sounds like it's a very sweet family comedy. I really, really hope. I hope so oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I saw the cover for the, for the announcement. Mm -hmm. I was like, why became, I'm, I'm like, let me wrap my head around this. No, mm -hmm. it's another really short, older woman. And she, you know, it, it right. must be that like, yeah. ah, ha, ha, this is kind of funny. There's a reason right. she has to go to the elementary school and mm -hmm. then she's pretending and like, no, no, from what you said, that yep. ain't it at all. <laughs> wow. Well, they okay. just published the final and 14th volume of the manga. Oh, wow. So there's some plot there. Huh. And they have enough, if it's done, they have enough to yeah. do the series and complete it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this might be a sort of condensed version of it. Like, here here we go. Hopefully. Get an ending. That'd be cool. That would be nice to have a real ending. You, you, you'd imagine. Yeah. Um, we're not done. <laughs> um, you're also getting a TV anime for gushing over magical girls. The pr premise here is a junior high school girl <laughs> loves, loves, loves magical girls. She just loves magical girls. So she is overjoyed when a cute little plushy mascot character appears in her life and grants her magical powers only to discover that she's the villain. Oh. <laughs> the no. um, whips and revealing outfits kind of magical girl villain, you know, the, the, the one that oh. wears the, 
you know, okay. the bustier kind of a villain, oh. right? Mm -hmm. um, that's her alter ego, you know, version of her, the, the dark magical girl, you know, older woman type. So uh. she's got to do that now. Um, that's her in the purple hair, apparently, in the middle, by the way. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, dear. We get that. Oh, dear. That's coming. Okay. I, yes. A dark, <laughs> magical, evil character. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we had love after world domination. So we had mm -hmm. Desumi, who was true, who was evil. Yeah. She was on true. the evil team. Yep. Yeah. True. But she was still a good person, even though she was mm -hmm. evil. The same mm -hmm. kind of thing. Giant mm -hmm. mace, tight outfits, garters, the whole thing. Yep. So, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Sure. I will absolutely yeah. get on board to see how this mm -hmm. goes. Yes. Me too. I'm curious. Um, speaking of magical girls, we also have just some regular I love that word. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Um Ready to feel old? No. Oh, come on. Again, um, Toy just did their Precure 20th anniversary stream. Precure's been around for 20 years now. <sighs> Okay, that yeah. doesn't make me feel that old because I thought Precure okay, was older than that. I okay, thought yeah, it was no, no, yeah, 20th it's, it's, century, yeah, not no, no, 21st. It was, like, it was like 2002. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, That's not so bad. Okay, good. Um, Toys announced a spinoff of Yes Precure 5 and Maho Girls Precure. The first will feature the characters from Precure 5 as adults. Hmm. Okay. And the other will be a direct sequel to Maho Girls Precure, but both will be aimed at grown up fans. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. how do you do a pre-cure anime aimed at adult fans? Like, and, and well, clear, I, have, well, I, I, I yeah, can yeah. suggest a few um, things, but no. To be clear, <laughs> it sounds like it is, you know, those who grew up with the anime. Right. Um, I mean, do you go, like, full Jose and do a story of, you know, these are the girls in their, in their lives now? Well, did they, does pre-cure ever establish a, a, a time frame hey you're 10 so now you can be a magical girl hey you're 15 now you can't you're asking the wrong guy <laughs> you know but, but, but yeah. I, I just started asking yeah, yeah, yeah. It as a sort sure, of a general sure, yeah. concept because it's like you there mm. there have been magical girl series where sure. they are very clearly they have gone through the trauma of being 10 years old to mm. like 17 or 18 and now it's them getting into their late teens into their 20s they're still mm -hmm. doing the magical girl thing mm -hmm. yeah. so i that i have not watched any precure but mm -hmm. that piques my interest to be like are they still magical girls or do they have to give it up mm -hmm. you know it's like is this are the, they working at target afterwards? now right are they, are the they at target those? are they dead inside due to the fact that they're no longer a magical girl are they like horribly shell-shocked because of all the crazy mm -hmm. things that they've seen are they do they graduate to like mentorship where it's like oh mm -hmm. you're no mm -hmm. longer a magical girl but you're like the senior advisor to the new 10 year old who's like what's going on i don't understand mm -hmm. <laughs> like that so this would be interesting i'm gonna be interested to say i'm i'm looking it up now there's an article on ann which is Typical and an article, so I'm skipping that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, well written, excellently researched. Um, Don't be fooled. Sure. Yeah. Um, that. As long as you put those words together, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let the AI do the work. Come on. Yeah, announcements. Much. <laughs> um, put it all together. Do do do. Um, nothing yeah i'm i'm not seeing anything like clearly saying anything about like age here mm -hmm. um okay. you know, they're they're chosen representatives of the fairy kingdom to you know right uh defeat the bad guys um not sure but it's an interesting question um i wonder if they're going to do the digimon thing too where to your point they become kind of the the mentors of the next generation um which would make a lot of sense mhm mm I mean, the movies have brought back multiple pre-cures at once. So yeah. they, they, they keep, you know, they just put all of the girls in all of the movies. Um, so you can but certainly do in that. In their young phase or in their, as they've aged? Presumably in their young phase. There, there's okay. some <clears throat> BS that makes them all come together at once. 
Um, I'd like to see a 50 year old magical girl. Like, right. Really? Exactly. <laughs> um so i don't know mother of three lives in, in wichita mm -hmm. and yeah. uh is oh magical. that's how you do it that's how you do it that's how you do it um the new magical girls are the daughters of uh there you go mm -hmm. yeah and tuxedo mask is all of their fathers <laughs> <laughs> man he gets around uh, um we're also getting a new idol master anime uh which looks okay. very pretty yeah. Um, a 12 episode TV anime, the Idol Master Shiny Colors game, is coming to TV next spring, as in 2024. Okay. So, like next year. But it's also coming to theaters in October. What? That's right. They're going to show all 12 episodes in theaters starting October 27th oh. in four episode blocks. Oh. Oh, can we do this? Can we do this more often? Is this the beginning of a new age where you can go to the yeah. theater and watch this? <laughs> it's be in it reminds me of Silent the Voice. The, this picture mm, yeah, reminds me. Yeah, of, like, ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, there's a, a teaser trailer and it's basically just panning up this image and then a few shots of like the city and like her buttoning her her outfit. Um, so it's hard to say like too much, but it's definitely in this visual style. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really cool. It's a very interesting model. To say, you know, show up to movies early to get that. I mean, is that also Demon Train? Are they hopping on that train as well? I never know. Mm -hmm. I don't think yeah. it's going to get the same kind of traction that Demon Train no, no. <laughs> that managed right. to get and dominate the globe. Well, I mean, wait for some stories later on tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, anime movies are doing very well. So. Yeah. And I know the Idol Master franchise is... Yeah. is well followed. Mm -hmm. Hence why there's like a billion of them. <laughs> I'm just so I I, yeah. I really I have followed to none of it, but I love mm -hmm. the idea of a four block in theater yeah. mm -hmm. movie opportunity. Be like, yeah. yes, that's cool. Yeah. I wonder how they'll do it. Will will it be like basically will they release episodes one through four for the first week? And then then the next episodes for the, for the next week, something like that? Um I don't know how you how you do it, or is it going to be? Just I like would hope for two old. weeks so we can all see. Yeah, jeez, please don't yeah. do that. Wednesday at seven thirty. Fuck you, suck. <laughs> I mean, it's never I'll happening happen. over here. Let's be honest. Oh, we could. I mean, come on, we can hope for that. Maybe. Smash your hope and Possible. dreams. Mm. Possible, but it, it's, it's it seems yeah. unlikely. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, unless it does as well as, you know, uh, the first slam dunk and all the others, maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> well, you know, you know, uh, well, actually speaking to that, you know, um, since I have quite a few art houses of where I'm mm. at up here and each one of them has a contingent of um, anime clubs that will mm. rent the theater for a couple nights and do something mm. like that. Maybe this might. Yeah. entice groups like that to go hey instead of showing akira for the umpteenth time let's yeah. do like why don't we do this and garner interest in our groups by you mm -hmm. know doing it two weeks the, or you know couple mm -hmm. this week couple next week blah, blah, or however it works out but yeah. yeah and to that point once it airs on television then then people are aware of it then you can come back right. and say hey that thing that you saw like an episode of back then we're going to now show it in theaters. So you can go back to the theaters and watch the yeah. whole thing, just sit down and kind of experience the whole thing. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. So I won't smash your dreams anymore, John. Thank you. <laughs> I have hopes. I have hopes and dreams. There we go. Um, well, I read it. Um, I'm not going to crush them, but the next ep the show might crush them. <laughs> uh, so, oh, no. I think we missed this announcement, but I just want to quote the, the summary of uh, anime coming to Netflix called My Happy Marriage. Born to a noble family, Mio is raised by her abusive stepmother and married off to Kiyoka, a soldier so heartless his prior fiancés all fled within three days into their engagement. With no home to return to, Mio slowly starts to open her heart to her cold and pale husband-to-be, despite their rocky introduction. This might just be her chance at finding true love and happiness. Oh, God. It's a, it's, it's a story about settling for less. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. Dang. Wow. 
And okay. I mean, Netflix, they, 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 they choose their properties carefully. Like this isn't just going to be some yeah. random thing. So I'm curious now. Wow. I mean, I mean, this, this artwork looks, looks nice. I mean, yes. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and I, and I do like a good romance story, but still mm -hmm. it sounds like, you know, yeah, all those tales about, you know, pre you know, prearranged marriage and stuff like that. We still think it's a good idea. Here you go. <laughs> you know, it's just like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, the time period seems to be Showa, maybe? Uh, I mean, Taisho, yeah. late Taisho. Taisho? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. Mm, mm. I could, I could see. We've seen this. We've seen this. Um, what was the one where the kids laying oh. in an automobile automobile accident? Yes, I was yeah. just thinking of that same one where yeah. the Suzu, the little the little girl who's promised yes. to him his yeah. father won't have anything to do with him, sends him off to mm -hmm. live in the countryside. Yes, I had that same yeah. kind of feeling for this, but that wasn't nearly as dark yeah, as protagonist true. Kun in that he wasn't cold and indifferent. He was damaged in a way, but still still approachable this one i'll be yeah. very curious to see how they're going to play this character so this is interesting so, so according to the description of the light novel on anime news network um this is set in a world where people have something called the gift um which i assume is some kind of magical power um she is the eldest daughter of a noble family and does not have the gift mm -hmm. and that's why she's unloved and everyone kind of hates her Oh, one of these. Okay. And so she, and apparently she has like a lot of self-loathing of that as well. Like she, she f feels herself as worthless. And so the marriage provides some opportunity for her to actually have a relationship and have somebody who, oh. if, you know, whether or not it's a happy, lovey, dovey marriage, at least he, he is willing to have her. Oh, right? right. So maybe that's what's kind of going on there. And then they can kind of open up to each other. I know you're damaged goods with no no prospects of a good future. <laughs> so I'll be the nice guy to take in. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Boy. I don't know. By the way, the toilet needs to be plunged. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Have you shined my shoes yet? Where's my dinner? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Although of... I will say this, for some reason, the the guy here mm -hmm. reminds me of Shar. Okay, I can see that. For some for some reason. And I'm just I was gonna say Al Haytham, but Okay. Sure. I mean, <laughs> pretty boy. This is just pretty exactly. boy. Up. He's a pretty boy. Very pretty boy. Um, all right. Moving on to just anime news. <laughs> up. It's just anime news. Um, Susan May. We keep talking about it. Yeah. He, it keeps making uh, money. It has made, it has sold over 2 million tickets outside of Japan. Ooh. It's ranked number one in every country outside of Japan on its first day of screening. Damn. They plan to screen this film in 199 countries and territories. Awesome. Good. Um, it's earned $100 million US just in Japan, making it the 15th highest film of all time in Japan. It's already earned 47% more than your name. Mm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Is it? Does it tracking to uh, to beat Mugen Train? I mean, it's making or money. One Piece Red. You know, I, I think hitting hitting other countries will be, um, yeah, the big When's question. It, huge. When when will it hit? Uh, get to us. I mean, you know, um, or has I it? think this summer. Summer. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know that that has been like officially confirmed yet i'm not seeing anything about it on um ann um i'm gonna hope sooner than later <laughs> i mean my question is when it drops in china oh yeah yeah so who knows um not the only anime film doing well though um the Doraemon film is the number one film in japan at the moment <laughs> What is going on here? <laughs> so uh, wow. apparently they are going to Laputa. Um, the, oh. the Doraemon films <clears throat> usually have some kind of fairy tale or kind of you know clear like reference to something, okay. and so basically there's some kind of Laputa style idyllic, perfect you know civilization floating in the sky somewhere, and they're all flying off to to find it and explore it. 
they're all doing the Porco Rosso yes. race to get to there. Uh, very much uh-huh. so. Um, it is in its second weekend, um, having made a total of nine million dollars so far. Not bad. Um, it made nearly five million in its first three days. Wow. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, There's a lot we, of Dory Mod lovers out there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely doing great. Um, meanwhile, the first slam dunk film made one and a half million dollars this past weekend in its 15th weekend. Wow. Jeez. Now at number two in Japan and now the 29th highest earning film of all time in Japan. So yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Slam dunk. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Anime is doing real well. Turns out. Um, and the sla- and like slam dunk, <coughs> the anime of slam dunk came out in like the nineties, I think. So say, yeah, it's, it's not a it's not a new property. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> no. yeah like is, like Doraemon, it's not a right. new property. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I think there's there's a lot of legs. And again, going back to that earlier segment, I think folks are now really looking at movies with a fresh light. Yeah. Like there's money to be made. It's a great a time to again a great time to be alive when you get, yeah. get to yeah. see these things happening more exactly. often, not the sort of aberration like Akira yeah. was in its day, where it's like, mm. oh, what this random thing just showed up, and now it's like, yeah. oh no, here's like a slate of films that have earned ridiculous amounts of money because I don't know, mm. people like anime. Oh, yeah, I mean, exactly. Go figure that. Hmm. So, this is the forty second Doraemon film, by the way. Holy cow! <laughs> <Good> idea. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Every year. You're doing one film. Just keep it going. Um, and also, I should I should point out, I'm not, this could be a half hour film. I'm not sure. You know, one of one of those. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, it's keeping people employed. <laughs> absolutely. Now, new segment this week: trailer of the week. Um, because YouTube is YouTube, we can't actually show you all the trailers that drop and all the videos that are available. We still would want to talk about um, the trailer that just kind of stood out to us the most this week and for us it was the trailer for the girl i like forgot her glasses um which is a cute romantic comedy about a guy sitting next to a girl who wears glasses and she gets her glasses so she looks cute during that but boy they kind of went hard on this yeah yeah like it looks gorgeous very much so yeah did this come out of manga land or where is this an original um, manga work? i believe let me just I was gonna say because you're not you didn't get this from mm-hmm. like just no place there had to have been obvious track record that people were like yes let's dump all the money onto this mm, yeah because it's yeah. done really well yeah <laughs> you know this, this is originally a manga um started in 2018 so it's been around for a little while okay so good job everyone um, yes, and uh, anyone's interested, go out and check out the trailer for the girl I like got her glasses. Uh, also, this week, things we wanted to cover, but not necessarily go into too much detail, uh, depending on the title. Um, Retro Crush has gone through this really weird service update a couple yeah, days they ago. Did. Yeah, they um, did. They uh, announced they were migrating servers and changing their systems, and that quote. Some titles may be currently unavailable, end quote. Mm-hmm. No return date. Just, mm-hmm. oh, by the way, we're doing upgrades and some things will be available for a while. Hmm. Yeah, they've been they've been changing up their format on on you know, because I have Roku and I have retro Crush, Yeah. And um they've been changing up the format a lot over the past six months. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily for the better. Sometimes they, they come up with a good concept and it's just like okay, great, and then disappears. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. you know, this, yeah, the last time I checked was about uh, two days ago, and I was just like, okay. oh, God, what's going on? What are they doing now? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. So, and which is too bad because, well, I oh, I should say too bad. Mm-hmm. I hope it works out because sure. it, Retro Crush is actually a really good resource mm-hmm. for for anime. Yeah. Um, you know, particularly older older anime that well, people, they, have they, they been acquired out. by somebody? I mean, what's what's the reason? Funny you should pulling? ask. Uh-huh. Um, so back uh, last January 2022, they got acquired by a company called Cynodyne. Um, okay, never heard uh, of it. Yeah, uh, and they are a company <laughs> that does <laughs> things. Um, let me see. Uh, they make very you know? small bolts. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, and they don't know what they're doing with Retro Crush. <laughs> they do digital platforms, basically. Um, okay. they, they provide films to, like, Netflix and iTunes and Amazon and that kind of stuff. Gotcha. You know, they, okay. they do, they're kind of the, the, the intermediate broker. Right, exactly. Okay. Um, and Comcast, Dish, DirecTV, etc. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, they, they're the ones that, that they, they bought out the, uh, Retro Crush plus... Um, Asian Crush and Midnight Pulp, which were the other kind of sibling uh, services. Yeah, Midnight. Oh my God, that's right. Midnight Pulp changed too. Yeah, yeah. I didn't so, know they were owned by the same. Okay. That yeah. The the A and N thread on the news article is from folks who are expressing some frustrations with Retro Crush over the past year or so of just technical issues, um, announced shows not getting added, schedule inaccuracies, UI glitches, yeah. and stuff like that. So it's it's. Not that tracks great. Unfortunately, that tracks. Yeah, it's not. It's not progressing smoothly. No, no, it is not. Sadly, like I said, I hope it works out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, really. it, it's great having an option for that. And Retro Crush is like dedicated to saying these are the anime that no one else is willing willing to stream. Like we're gonna get them and put them on there because we believe in it. So please fix yeah. your stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, the parent company is not like that's great. You believe that we would like to make money. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, a few other quick notes. Um, they announced the dub for Near Automata, the anime. Ooh, um, yeah. And if those not familiar, like the Near Automata um, English dub is considered legendary. Like they had an amazing dub for the the English uh, uh, release of the video game, and they they got all, all them back. So thankfully, wow. we're getting all of those wow. voice actors back for the anime. To do their role so thank you good job like that is that is exactly what should be done there um oh my goodness um uh play it cool guys remember that anime where it's just following yeah. a bunch of guys being cool it's getting a two episode sequel um they're doing what they're calling a two. mini anime oh okay. sequel so i don't know i'm assuming they just have a couple, a couple of extra stories to do it's like let's just do a couple extra episodes just throw them out there it'll be fun let's we'll just have the guys um, looking cute and dressed up Nice. Yeah. Okay. Playing cool. Just, playing cool. Just right. Playing cool, guys. Um, Mamoru Oshii's Fire Hunter anime is getting a second season. Interesting. Uh huh. Which means uh-huh. that we first season the is first not season. the entire story. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Which is not the way Oshii normally does things. <laughs> so I'm curious to see, like, is this a long form? So I don't know. Right. Yeah. Um. And then that was that was a funky, funky story. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm very curious. Sadly, yeah. it's the kind of news story that for me might hold me off on watching the first season because I want to. W- I want to wait for all of it to be out, right? <laughs> so you can uh, watch all, yeah, all of it. Entire right. Well, it, I, it, it, that. I want to wait until it finds out whatever its ending is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got it. You know, and not be like, well, I watched some of it, and then oh, that that's I don't know. Um, I like a little more expectations in things. I don't right. know. Um, and then finally, there's a uh, new art book of Shigeru Mizuki art coming in October, Ooh. um, called Yokai, oh, the God. art of Shigeru Mizuki, um, which looks oh, pretty wow. awesome. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Looking to celebrate not only his yokai but also his sort of naturalistic style of art, mm-hmm. yeah, um, all that great stuff. <clears throat> this, yeah, this. I mean, I'm looking at the cover of this, is and it's just <clears throat> it's so. Mm-hmm. Um, Shigeru Mizuki, for those who don't know, was a natural righty. He lost his arm in in World War Two, and and mm-hmm. he retrained his left arm to able to draw, and mm-hmm. um, he was a child prodigy. But you can tell right here where he's being cartoonish and mm-hmm. where he's being very exacting because he has some yeah. very, in his work, some beautiful panels and then mm-hmm. interlaced with like just like cartoonish, buffoonish kind of things going on. Yep. Yeah. And and you can see that all right. Oh, God, I need Well, more onward Jesus. to our noble death. The death. Yeah. Yes, yeah. God, the incredible yeah. detail, the jungle scenes and the base mm-hmm. operations yes. kind of thing going on. And then like the sad sack soldiers where it's like yeah. <laughs> they don't look very realistic but yeah. yeah fair enough that's the style um yeah uh drawn and quarterly has a 12 page pdf preview on their site you're going to check it out which Holy is all just God. full color full full page illustrations 
uh, the Gary Mizuki stuff and some really cool stuff there. So Damn. very much looking forward to that coming out in October, of course. Naturally. When and that's where that? some of my money is going to go in October. Uh -huh. Good to know. I wonder if it'll exactly. be available in Tokyo in October. Ah, ah. I, I, I would. Have, uh, mm, I wonder. Mm, Good question. Maybe so. Mm, probably not. I would assume, but we'll see. Question your dreams again. Well, well, you know what? <laughs> you, you see, well, you see, you have to buy the ticket. Stand in line <laughs> to get the okay. other ticket to appear at the lottery. To get in, to get the ticket, to get into line, to maybe buy the book. Two hundred pages, forty-five bucks. Wow. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, looking forward to that, along with everything else. That is all the news fit for this week. That is the brief. Thank you all. See you next week. <laughs>